Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thought I would share my outfit of the day. I Instagrammed a picture of this uh, earlier this morning. Actually, I did two pictures on Instagram. So I'm just gonna film the video for you guys now. I'll stand back there. So here it is. I've got on uh, a pair of the Target Pierce pumps that you guys know I wear and love in nude. And I've got on red jeggings from Target last year. Um, the same pair that I've been wearing. It's what I think I bought them last spring. Maybe in the summer, I don't really remember. But the same ones, um, I just love them. I have them in uh, cobalt as well. And I absolutely adore them. Uh, my blouse is a white snow leopard blouse from H&M. It's just a button down. Um, it's beautiful. I like it. Really, I like the print. I really do. Um, and then I just kind of cuffed it over. It's a pretty shirt. I'm in love with it. I Instagrammed a picture of this too like a while back. Um, I saw it on a mannequin and had to have it. And then I got some other stuff from H&M from, from as well. But you know what? I did a video and I didn't upload it. I have recorded so many videos and I don't upload them because I get the video done or partially done and then my son comes running in here and he's making noise or, you know, there's just too much going on. Um, and I've chosen not to upload several of those videos just because the amount of comments I get uh, regarding my children and the noise they create is crazy. Um, so that's that. But anyway, it was like an H&M haul that I recorded. Um, so there's that blouse. And then this sweater, which is from Old Navy, it's just a camel v-neck sweater um it was really cold this morning i actually wore my trench coat on top of this um out to take my daughter to school and then to work and then when i went to pick my daughter up from school i was sweating like just this sweater is making me so hot um but it, it's really hot now so anyway there's that and i just kind of bunch it up um because i really want the shirt like if i wore it the way it's supposed to be worn it would look like that and that looks dowdy so I like it bunched up um, just so you can see the shirt tails or these bottom portions of the shirt um, I know it looks a little bit more messy a little bit more relaxed but that is kind of the vibe that I tend to go for uh, most of the time I like a very classic look but I like a very kind of edgy classic look at the same time um, and I just think you know doing that helps it a bit but it does poof out so sometimes I pull from back here Sometimes you can pull and it just helps it lay a little better. Okay, so then I curved these up and, um, or turned them up and then put the blouse over that and they are buttoned. My bracelets, which I've shown you guys before, this is the Ooh La La one, it's Kate Spade. I love this bangle. I really, I like enameled bangles and I started off with these two from Forever 21 and just fell in love. And now whenever I, find them I tend to add to my collection but these three are by far the ones that I wear the most um bought these love these they were forever 21 and then I started to buy Kate Spade ones little by little they're not you know these are so cheap the forever 21s are so cheap these are like anywhere from the $60 $40 $60 on up to like 100 um $120 range so I like to pick them up when they have like their 20% off discounts or you know anything like that or for special occasions I just you know buy one so I've kind of started a little Kate Spade bangle collection um, but I really like the Forever 21 ones or just you know other ones that I pick up in other places and I love grouping them and I like to buy black and white versions or silver and gold black and white anything in like that kind of range or just not even white it's this is more cream um but those four kind of colors and metals because then i can put on i can stack a bunch of those in black and white silver and gold and then i can just throw on like one colored bangle like this one it's not a good example of it but like if i was wearing a basic outfit i could throw this on in red or pink or blue and it gives you that pop of color so i'm just kind of like i'm liking mixing and matching bangles um basically is what i'm trying to say in so many words anyway so that's that um my wedding rings earrings and then i don't have a necklace on i toyed with necklace choices this morning and decided against it um, because i had the bangles on and i really thought that was kind of a lot 
um, and then to add a necklace onto it really would have been a little bit much, I think, but that's just me. This kind of, I'm not liking, now that I've worn this all day long, and now that I'm seeing how this kind of pillows there, I'm kind of not, it's not very flattering on camera, is it? I don't know, maybe I've pulled at it too much during the day. Anyway, so that's that. On my uh, face, I've got on Max Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Um, I've got some Lancome blush. It's called A Plum. It's a beautiful color I've had for a very long time. I honestly can't tell you how old it is. I think it's a color I wore for my wedding. Um, so it might be like eight years old, but it's a beautiful plum color that Lancome makes. I'm not even sure if they still make it. On my lips, I've got the Yves Saint Laurent um, Glossy Stain in Encre Rose. And on my lids, I've got Smashbox eyeshadow. And the problem with Smashbox eyeshadow is if you buy them single, like versions of the eyeshadows, you get names. But sometimes you'll get like a palette that doesn't have a name on it. Um, and this palette doesn't. But it's a really pretty kind of camel color and then a little dark purple. But I did it very lightly on the outside, so you really can't tell that it's purple. It just looks a little darker here. Um, but it's a gorgeous little palette. And I'll have to share it with you guys later. It's just one that I got for Christmas like a year ago, and I, I just love the colors, um, but there's no name, so that's that. Anyhow, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far, and I will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching, and as usual, I will have pictures on my blog, and you can also go to Instagram, and um, yeah, check me out there. Bye-bye.